Hello everybody, happy Friday, hope you're doing very well and today I've got one of two shirts I'm going to be showing you that have arrived in this parcel here. That's done much more travelling than I have as a person and maybe a lot of people watching this video. It started from one exotic country to another exotic country and now he's in the UK so it sucks to be him but it's going to be part of this wonderful collection. Don't feel bad if you are not familiar with these teams because I'll be honest with you, I've already forgotten who they are. So let's get it open, see what's inside and see what it looks like in person because um, yeah, it's always exciting when, when this happens. Um, okay, I'll have to go through another bag. I've had these since, oh there we go, grab this one first. The blue, there we go. Okay then, like I say, if you're able to pick out this club, very well done, but though it might trick you a little bit because um, it looks similar to another team. Anyway, let that stretch out. Here is the rear of the shirt. So we have uh, some stuff going on the bottom there, and then on the back we have a little bit of text. Let you see that. It's not in English, so if you don't speak any other language other than English, you might struggle. And then we have nothing else so it's a blue shirt white trims bit of text bit of something at the bottom let's bring it around to the front there's a tag always a good start and here it is there's the shirt very cool very nice I like the uh, the color I'm quite finding that the uh, lighter blue is quite nice which is a bit depressing as a Chelsea fan we have sponsors we have the club crest which you may or may not familiar get out of here we have a little bit of gold on the insert of the collar there, a little bit of gold on the cuffs, a little bit of sponsoring on the side, and there actually is, if I can make it a little bit closer to you, some detailing on the body of the shirt as well. So it's not just a plain shirt. So let me, um, okay, let me, uh, let me uh, dress the mannequin, and uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll explain to you a, uh, who it is and uh, well, where it came from. Right, first things first, before I do that, I noticed something when I was um, just checking out the sizing to make sure it's medium, which it is. Giant M, can't go wrong. What I also noticed is that there was a... Um, there's a hair on it, right? So there's a hair. Fair enough. Could be the guy's hair. Probably not my hair. I looked at it again. The hair is... If this is not going to pick up, is it? I might take a photograph. Is under... Under the text... So this hair has been there since, well, during production. So I presume it's just dropped onto the shirt. And um, I've got some Peruvian guy's hair, which um, I, I dread to think, really. Uh, the only problem is I can't really just pull it off because it's going to literally lift up the rest of the stuff. So I'm going to have to give my shirt... A haircut, which is a sentence I don't think anybody's ever said before in the history of the world. So yeah, that's really gross. But um, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm going to dress the mannequin. Okay then, there is the shirt. And you know what I did? I looked back at the messages between me and my friend who helped with the shirt. And the photograph he took whilst in the store, you can actually see just faintly the hair. So that has been there since the beginning. Um, I don't blame him for not necessarily seeing that because why would you expect that to happen? Anyway, ignoring that m absolute nonsense, um, I'm, I'm going to just tell you who the club is. It is Association Deportiva Tama or ADT. Yeah, I'm not really that familiar with them myself. So this is the home shirt from 2024. So it's like a current season shirt. So it's it's, it's as good as it's going to be from them right now. Now, this was bought from, or with the help of, a fellow football shirt collector. He is somebody who lives in Switzerland, and he's helped me out a few times before, but I think, I can only presume, his uh, native country is the one of Peru, and he goes back there to visit family, or whatever it may be. And when he's over there, he goes, well, I found this one, what do you think? Do you want it in your collection? And um, I'd say yes or no. So I picked up this one, and obviously one more there. So the club was founded 
1925, so what, coming up to 100 years? Oh, that's very, very good. And comes from the city of Tama, which is in uh, central-ish Peru. So it's a Peruvian club. Quite a few Peruvian clubs uh, in my collection now, partly because of this gentleman. So the club currently plays in the top division, which is um, a good thing, you know, it's a decent level so that's that's nice and the current season is pretty decently well underway when it comes to the aggregated table so it's with the south american uh, countries they always usually break up into a aperture closure sort of a first half and a second half they play each other once and then they play each other a second time you aggregate it and the club is in sixth place which is pretty decent that is i think most teams other than the top top teams would be happy with that uh, though they are quite some way off the top teams but uh, and I don't actually have any of the big teams from Peru so that's something I need to uh, address last season in the aggregated table they finished in sixth place so at the very least they are consistent though maybe they're hoping that they could push on a little bit maybe next season historically they have never won the top tier never once in fact for the last 30 years, they've been in the second tier, pretty much. It's only the last few years that they've been promoted back to the top tier. So to be to be honest, be sitting in sixth place, uh, that's good going. So the, the club will be just happy to be back involved and now that they are in the top tier. When it comes to the colours, depending on your knowledge of South American football, Peruvian football, you might be looking at that going, it looks so similar. It's very eerie, this shirt, in many ways because it looks like Sporting Cristal, which is one of the best teams from Peru. They use the same colors, very similar crest. Uh, and again, a club that I do need to get a shirt for. Now, when it comes to the manufacturer, you might be looking at it going, that looks so similar to something else. Yes. So this is a brand called New Athletic. So that's a, a, that's a new addition to me. However, looking at it, you might be forgiven to think that looks very similar to New Balance. Very similar logo. It's new. Uh, yeah, that's what's happened. And I obviously can't say for sure if it's just a genuine ripoff, but they're very similar, aren't they? In fact, there's a, there's a, there's a, a version of this in um, Venezuela, I think it is, called New Arrival, which again looks it's the same thing. So it's crazy how these things can happen. Um, so yeah, so it's not a new balance shirt. It is a new athletic shirt. Now, when it comes to the detailing, as you've probably seen when I showed you the first time around, there are some stuff. The uh, sort of the design on the inside or, or across the body of the shirt apparently is to represent the Tama uh, carnival, which occurs, I presume, every year. So I guess that yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense a little bit. On the back of the neck, it did have a little motto, of course, which wasn't in English, but if I translate, it says something to the effect of the loyal and noble city of Tama. Very, very good. And then at the bottom here, there's a little motif, a little legend, which goes back to 1538. That isn't when the club was founded, of course, but it is when the city was founded, which I presume by the Spanish at that period. So this is clearly a sort of tribute to highlighting the city of Tama, which is good because otherwise it could have been just pretty simple, plain, blue, throw some sponsors on uh, and jobs are good. And so fair play to the new athletic people that they definitely did put some effort into this one. So that's it really. That's the shirt. So I don't know how many Peruvian shirts I have now, four or five. Obviously, the other one I'm going to show you uh, in the next video is a Peruvian club also, one that I think actually plays in the second tier. Hopefully, there's no hairs on that one. Very, very strange. So I'm going to have to, yeah, as I said, give it a bit of a trim. Anyway, that's the... Uh that's the end of this video. Uh, as it gets released, uh, my holiday begins. I'm going to be heading back up to Scotland. Uh, this time I'm going to go on the west coast and maybe we'll find a shirt to buy from the uh, club store that's nearest. But I'll be honest, none of the shirts look particularly great to me. And with it being the new season, the price is going to be full price. So maybe not. Anyway, hope you have a great weekend head and I will see you next week. I will, of course, pre- film some stuff and you'll see the second shirt and then whatever else i decide to do anyway thank you and goodbye